hey uh, welcome back to another video where we'll learn how we will deploy static website on storage account so you can click on storage account or also search for storage account in the search bar and we'll create one storage account for our application so select your subscription then select your resource group and then give a name to your storage account so I'll call it Eddie clouds demo then you had to select your region so I'll go with US East US yeah and then you can select this primary service but I'll not select anyone and on the performance you can go with the standard or premium one so for the demo purpose I'm going with the standard one and how you will keep your data redundant so for that you have multiple options you can start with local redundant system geo redundant zone redundant and geo zone redundant system so as it's a demo demo class a demo session so we'll go with a local redundant system so what i will do it will create three copies of my static site or my the storage account in the same zone uh, yeah so then you have geo redundant where each copy will be placed in a separate zones and similarly for zone redundant there will be each copy of the the file in separate zone so go with local redundant system and then in the advanced step uh, you have to enforce the encryption as well as the TLS version you can also change this later but uh, like we will keep the data transport uh, to be happen using REST API you can also enable the anonymous access or public access and yeah the minimum TLS version is kept 1.2 you can also change it now or later maybe and I'll keep all other things by default and for the access tier as it is a front end side so we'll keep it on a hard tier and then in a network tab uh, you can also keep this in a uh, public private or you can enable the public access but what if you disable the public access you will have to create a private endpoint and serve this application so you're not going to do this in this demo so I'll keep this public for all the for all the network then in the data protection how for how duration your deleted file should be retained so these are the few options you can click on and select according to your needs then in the next tab you have encryption so we will use Microsoft provided managed keys and if you have your own um, like encryption keys you can also upload but we will go with the Microsoft one then click on review and create and it will pass a few validation and after that you can click on create your bucket yeah click on create so this may take four to five seconds and your storage account should have been created okay so the storage account has been created click on go to resources uh, yeah here is your storage account uh, you can change the configuration and settings tab go to configuration and these are all the settings you can change that I was talking during the creation of my uh, storage account so you can change the transfer layer secure transfer layer and you can also enable the like blob access anonymously and other and all other settings so for static website what you'll do uh, just, just 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 to mention one thing that there is no other containers other than logs but it will create one for us when we enable the static website hosting so click on static websites click on enable and here you'll, you you will provide a, a path for your index.html so I am saying that it is index.html and for the error document if you have you can you can call it error.html but I don't have so I'll call this index.html as well so every time a request comes it will serve for index.html click on save it will generate a URL for us so just copy this URL paste and search so as you notice that nothing shown here because we hadn't uploaded any files to our storage account so for that 
go to storage account then inside containers and here you can see that a web container is created for us so click on it and you will have to upload your files here so click on upload upload files I have just index.html file but if you have multiple you can upload it here so upload the upload has been successful uh, let me refresh yeah it is uploaded so now go to your site refresh the URL and here you can see that a static site has been hosted using storage account so that was a short video and thank you so much for joining bye bye